Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Dr. Ray. I am your friendly general practitioner. You can find me here on YouTube and you can also find me for behind the scenes stuff on my social media, uh, Instagram and Facebook. Today we are going to be doing a budget pet food. I get a lot of requests for that. Um, times can be difficult for some and so we're really looking for a good, healthy, economical brand that still meets all the marks and what you'll find today might surprise you. Before we get started, you will wanna head on over to my website at animaldocray.com to download the free PSS scorecard. Um, that scorecard is the rubric system that we are going to be using today. If you guys are not familiar with that system, you can um, reference a video on it specifically that I will link at the end. It is also available in my workbooks, which are basically everything we're gonna discuss today for both the dog and the cat. Um, and so that's a really nice reference if you guys wanna check that out. Uh, so once you download that, you can hop on over and we are going to proceed to the Neutrino website. So the website is neutrinaworld.com. Um, usually I take requests and you guys are welcome to leave requests in the comments below, but I was really on the hunt for like a stellar, I really, I really wanted a stellar option for you guys. So I went on the hunt and I found this brand myself um, and the company was great. They were very responsive to all my questions. And so um, this one I did find on my own. It's not sponsored, but I did kind of go out and hunt this out for you guys. And so neutrinaworld.com and here you can see the company and a little bit about them. Um, in their history. You can click on that and you can see um, they are an American based company. They started back in the 1920s, mostly in livestock feed. And a lot of companies do start out like that. We know that Purina started like that. And then eventually it trickled over into um, some of our small animal and companion animal species. They do some wildlife, some fish, dairies, rabbits, pigs, sheep, goats. So you can check out all their other products. But today we're going to be focusing on um, specifically the dogs. And so we are going to go ahead and and check out what they have. Now they have a couple lines um, I'm gonna point out to you. They have the Loyal Life um, line. I did look into that one. I'm not gonna recommend really start there. The line that I'm gonna recommend you start with is gonna be their True line. And they have a couple foods in the True series. So they have a puppy food, an adult maintenance. Um, they have a performance. They have a professional, they have a high energy. And so we're gonna be going over those today. Um, just to kind of point out a few things, um, let's go ahead and pick one. We're gonna pick the adult maintenance to start off with. Um, website is very nice. Um, and so there, a lot of the information is there, but as you know, if you've been following along and you have referenced the workbook and kind of what we do here, the numbers they provide, um, although they are useful, they are not super useful for us because they're not on a dry matter basis. Um, and they're not, um, you know, they're guaranteed analysis minimum and maximums. And so I wanted a little bit more detailed information. I didn't just want to know what the minimum was. Um, I kind of wanted to know exactly what the number was so that you guys can get the best clinical picture. And so I did contact them and get, in addition to the protein, fat, fiber, um, I did get the calcium and phosphorus and that will allow us to go ahead and fill out that PSS scorecard. And so for each of the diets, you can, um, again, come to the website and go ahead and check that out. But what I would rather you do um, is convert it to a dry matter basis and then go from there. Now I've already done that for you and I've created a little bit of a cheat sheet and this, this cheat sheet will be available again on my website for you guys to download. Um, you just uh, go to the website and click on, um, on the top, I believe it says guides or shop and then guides and you will find that under the cheat sheet um, drop down there. And so if you'd like a copy of it, you certainly can get it, but we are gonna go over um, my findings today using that cheat sheet. Okay, so here you have, um, have the cheat sheet and what I've done at the top, you see the date that the cheat sheet was created so that you know um, the date that the information was pulled from. And so companies do change their formulations. So you always want to verify um, before you purchase a food that there haven't been any changes, but you can see the top um, where the when the cheat sheet was generated. Um, this is the Neutrina um, True Adult Dry Dog Food PSS Scoring System. Um, basically Neutrina is, uh, like I said, it started out as animal feeds. Um, they say they provide complete and balanced nutrition for dogs with genuine ingredients. They have a true immune power for immunity. They do OptiCook process for digestion. And they say they have formulas that support skin, coat, joint health, and they use omega-6, omega-3s, glucosamines, chondroitin, and they are tailored for adult maintenance, active and performant needs without artificial additives. 
And so the ones that we're going to be using are the ones that we're going to be evaluating today are the adult maintenance 12, 21, 12, the active 26, 18, the professional 30, 20, and the high energy 24, 20. These are all the adult versions. Um, here we have the scoring system across the top here, the final score. And then at the very right hand side, if you download um, the cheat sheets, you will see there are some hyperlinks that will take you exactly to the bag. So you can read more on the website about the bag and you can actually see what the package looks like because you will be surprised the number of people um, that only know what the package looks like and don't know what the food is actually called. So that might help you out there. Um, and so the first one is the adult maintenance 2112. Now, none of these foods were AFCO feeding trial. Um, feeding trial means that they followed a specific standardized feeding research type um, protocol to get certification here. If it's not feeding trial, what that means is they just took a basically a recipe, a formula, didn't actually feed it to dogs, but they did ensure that the formula met the standards um, of AFCO. And so feeding trials are just a little extra boost. So I do give them a point if they did that. And none of them did do that in the Neutrina um, ones that we're evaluating. So they did lose a point there for the adult maintenance as well as all the others. Now, life stage is really important. That's the next category. We want a food that is tailored to our pet's life stage. A lot of foods, um, a lot of companies get lazy. They do the all life stage. Um, and basically what that means is they have lumped all, 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 um, the very different life stages that a dog or if you're doing cat, cat food, um, go through in their life. And so in order to do that, in order to get a label claim for that, they've got to meet the most rigorous life stage. So they have to meet the fastest, most demanding life stage, and that's puppy. The problem with that as you get into adults and seniors is that it's way too much nutrition. And if you're giving way too much nutrition to an adult or a senior, you're overloading the system. It's actually quite wasteful um, and quite costly to do that. And and it can actually be deleterious. So we wanna pick a food that is appropriate for the life stage. And if a company does that, it means they've put a little bit of extra effort and also means the food is much more fine tailored. So I do award a point if they are um, utilizing the correct life stage in the AFCO statement and the adult maintenance did, they got a point for that. Next thing we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be going into the guaranteed analysis, but if you remember, we said we are converting that to a dry matter basis. I have included those numbers in the cheat sheet for you, um, already converted, so you'll notice that the numbers in this cheat sheet are a little bit different than what's on the website because I've done that conversion for you. You can certainly learn how to do that, um, and it is in my workbook, and I do have some videos on that, so feel free to learn how to do that yourself so that you can apply this PSS system to any food of your choosing. Um, but I did do it for you here, and so we're gonna go ahead and use the numbers that I have procured. We are going to be um, referencing small animal clinical nutrition numbers for optimal nutrition. So there are a wide range of acceptable numbers, but we want the best of the best. Um, there's a lot of foods to go through, and so there's no point in just reviewing app for average. We wanna get what is best, we wanna get to what is best, so we're using optimized numbers. And so I will flash those for the adult here. Um, and so we're gonna be using those numbers to fine tune and fine tailor. These are the best of the best of the best. And if a company can hit the best of the best of the best, then you know that you have the best. And so for the protein, um, this food, the 2112, 21 was as fed when we convert that to dry matter, it's 23.3, still within the acceptable range, still within the ideal range, they're gonna get a point there. Fat at 13.3, we're gonna get a point there, which is a nice low fat food. So if you're looking for a low fat option, this could be an option for you. It's really close to that 10 minimum. Um, so, you know, we can take note of that for those of you guys that have been asking me or have dogs that are prone to pancreatitis for a low fat food, there you have it. Now, this is what's really interesting, and I think this is really interesting to compare to some of the more bougie boutique brands that we had. Um, those brands tend to have issues with getting the calcium and phosphorus down. They tend to be more about marketing and trying to suck you guys in with the meat is magic, and they totally forget and totally neglect the minerals, which are extremely important important, mostly for our seniors, but also for our adults. And so I was so impressed that Neutrina, for the price point that we are going to discuss, was able to get these minerals under control for several of their diets. And so the calcium, um, 0.78, one of the lowest and acceptable that we have seen, phosphorus at 0.7, and so they get all the points for the minerals here.
The food is not grain free, and so I don't have to worry about heart disease as your veterinarian, and we're just gonna not worry about that, and so they get a point for that. The food is not raw, so we don't have to go into that whole discussion about public health and all the safety implications with raw, so I'm gonna award a point for this not being a raw food. And then the last thing I like to do is to make sure that their um, feeding guide is appropriate. So obesity is a huge issue in pets. We know that obese pets live and this is research proven, lifetime study made by Purina, obese dogs live two years shorter than their lean counterparts. And so calorie control and proper calorie feeding is super important to me. Yes, you can calculate calories yourself. Again, in that workbook, yes, I have dedicated videos on that, but a lot of people don't feel comfortable with that and they just look on the package. And so if the package is telling my clients and telling my patients, parents, the proper amount to feed, I'm really happy and I award a point for that. And so that means the adult maintenance 12, 2112 by Neutrina actually scores a nine out of 10. We're gonna go over price in a minute um, and we'll, we'll see you know, how that stacks up to maybe some of the other brands but that's quite amazing. All right, moving on to the next one, which is going to be the active. That is the 2618. Again, you will notice that the numbers change a little bit when we do the dry matter conversion. Um, no feeding trials, so no points there. But I was very happy to see that this one also met several of the parameters we're looking for. So a point for the life stage. Um, we were good with the protein. We were good with the fat. Now the fat is a little bit on the highest, very, very, very high end of the range so um, not even a tenth more and they would have been out of the range so not a low fat option um, like the adult maintenance but still within range point for the fiber um, and then we did lose points for the calcium and the phosphorus on this one um, but we did gain a point for the not grain free the not raw and the calorie allotment and so this one scored actually a seven out of ten is it as good in my opinion as the adult no i feel like the adult scoring a nine out of ten was a little bit more balanced but still a good option if you are already feeding this food you know i certainly wouldn't tell you to change it unless some blood parameters or something like that indicated that we needed to do it um, so another option there for you guys now the professional was the lowest lowest scoring one, it's a 30-20. Um, you'd have to read and see why they formulated it this way. I am feeling that maybe it was kind of like more of their active line, although they did have a high energy line. Um, and so this one actually scored the lowest, it scored a five, five out of 10, so not my favorite. And mm -hmm. did not get the points for uh, the feeding trials, and this was an all life stage food, and so you can see right now, that's kind of a little quick and dirty trick for you guys. If the AFCO statement says all life stages, there's a pretty good chance that it's gonna be out of range for adults because it is a puppy food, right? And so you can see here, we were um, way too high on the protein, um, we were high on the fat, uh, it does say there, and I'm gonna have to fix that, and then it awarded a point for the fat, but that, is incorrect because we only want the fat in our, our um, adults to only go up to 20, that was 22.2, so I will correct that before it is posted um, for download for you guys. Uh, and then we lost, of course, the calcium and phosphorus because when your protein shoots up really high, a lot of times that calcium phosphorus shoots up high unless the company has really taken extra effort to bring it down. So even though the fiber, um, the grain-free status, the raw status, and the calorie uh, calculations were correct, it only scored a five out of 10. So not my favorite on that one, probably would bypass it. So next we have the high energy, which is gonna be another amazing option for you guys coming in at an eight out of 10. Um, we didn't have the AFCO feeding trials, and so we lost a point there, came in um, very well as being the correct life stage and a nice moderate protein. The fat on this one is a little bit high out of the restaurant range, so they did lose a point there on the fat. So if you're looking for a low fat food or a pet that needs a low fat food for a medical condition or a predisposition to something like pancreatitis, this probably wouldn't be the option for you. But what I did like is we did get those calcium and phosphorus numbers way far down. Um, so if you do have a dog that maybe needs higher fat for whatever reason, um, you know this may be something to consider for you. We did get the points for the grain-free status. Um, we did get the points for the not raw status. And we did have a correct calorie allotment bring this in as an eight out of 10. Now, these were all numbers for the adult, but what if we evaluate them for a senior? If we evaluate these for a senior, um, and we use the senior standards, what you will find is this is a very nice option, at least the adult maintenance is a very nice option for a senior. So for a senior, we're shooting for these numbers. And if we apply that to the chart, for a senior, we are actually getting pretty close to, let's look at it, pretty close to a one, two, three, four, five, 
five, getting all five nutrient parameters, plus the grain-free, plus the not raw, um, plus the calorie allotment, plus the life stage, this would be a pretty good option for a senior as well. Now it is a little bit off there, a 10th off, so technically it may not score a nine out of 10, but as you know, if you've been following this channel, it is exceedingly difficult to find a senior food. And so this is pretty darn as close as you can get to a nine out of 10 for a senior. And so um, the numbers are amazing, but what's even more amazing is the price. All right, let's all go and hop on over to um, Chewy and see what this is gonna cost. So here it is, Neutrina on Chewy. We're gonna go ahead and click the dog. And let's go ahead and find our favorite, which was the adult maintenance. Now they have different options, obviously. I'm sure you guys are familiar. If you auto ship, um, $24.69. If you buy once, it's $37.99. I'm gonna do the buy once. Um, so then you'll know it's even cheaper if you do the auto ship. So $37.99 um, for the 50 pound bag brings it to $76 a pound. That's amazing. Um, it, it really is compared to some people have told me like small 20, you know, 20 pound bags of let's say um, popular one is carnivore. Let's go to Chewy and pull up carnivore. As you know, carnivore um, missed a lot of the nutrient marks as far as the PSS system goes. Scored quite low, and you can check out that cheat sheet on the um, on my website as well. Here on Only Natural Pets, Carnivore, a hundred and ten dollars and forty nine cents for a twenty two pound bag. That is, oh, that's the auto ship. It's $169. $169.99 for 22 pounds, $7.72. So Carnivore um, is 10 times more expensive than the Neutrina, and in my opinion, has suboptimal nutrient levels. And so some people may say, well, you know, um, you know, you didn't really look at the ingredients, the ingredients, the ingredients, the ingredients, and that's fine. Um, I totally get that, um, and, and you can do that, and you can look into the ingredients. However, however, you can't compare a food like carnivore that scored below a seven, well below a seven on the nutrient parameters, and compare it to a food like this one that scored a nine that maximized and optimized nutri nutritional levels. You can take another nine, we can find another nine, there were some other nines that we found, or tens, or even sevens or eights, and compare it to true and say, look, the ingredients, I really like the ingredients better on this one, I didn't really like the ingredients on the true, and you can do that because both of them are optimized and balanced. But you can't take a, a diet that is poorly balanced and just say, well, I like the ingredients better, and so, you know, and so, so therefore it's better. That's that's not how it works. It has to be balanced first and then look at the ingredients. And so um, that's my take on that just to give you guys an idea. Now let's see um, if we can do, we can do one more thing. What I like, I'd like to do is take this true and see what it actually costs to feed because price per pound is fine, um, but really cost to feed is what we're looking at and there's a difference there. And so different foods have different calorie um, densities and so you, know, you may have a food that has a lower calorie density, you actually have to feed more um, versus a food that is a higher calorie density, you actually could maybe that bag would stretch a little bit longer. Now I think 76 cents a pound, you're probably good either way. Um, but I just kind of want to see if maybe we can do um, cost to feed here. So what we need to do in order to calculate cost to feed is we need to see how many kcals per cup there are, and and, and then we have to try to figure out um, kind of um, kind of kind of poundage here. So it's going to cost you about 17 to 18, it's kind of a ballpark, I rounded 17 to 18 cents a day if you have a 20 pound dog to feed this food. And so, you know, I think it's a winner. I think it's a winner. I hope you guys um, have enjoyed this kind of a breakdown. I hope you enjoyed this budget option. I am, for the remainder of the year, gonna try to find some amazing budget options for you. So if you could leave comments down below um, of options that you think are good that will help someone out. And so I really think that Neutrina could be a good option. Um, and so definitely, if you like these type of videos, like and subscribe or ring the bell and so that you can be notified. Follow me on social, I'm trying to get to a thousand on Instagram. So head on over there and follow me on Instagram and you'll see when these videos um, 
drop. I also have a blog on my website, so it is this whole thing typed out for you guys. If you don't really wanna watch the video, you want like a concrete transcript, you can read the blog on my website. Of course, you can check out my workbooks. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next time, bye.